Hello, everyone. I want to share something that came in for me today. It's pretty personal, but I think maybe some of you may be experiencing it as well. If not today, maybe you have or maybe you will in the future. But everything that I'm going through, everything, I see as a preparation for what's to come in this world. What's going to drop? What's going to happen? What am I going to have to navigate, right? But I live very presently. So I don't try to figure things out. Okay? I stay in whatever experience I'm in. But I know that everything I'm working through, every trigger, every shadow, every trauma, every emotion, every thought, every belief, everything, every behavior is allowing me to decide whether I want it or not. And is it going to assist me in navigating this massive evolutionary shift in consciousness right now? That's the only reason I'm here, right? And the only way that I can help humanity is that I, is that I navigate internally how I want to be and how I want to show up for the world, okay? So today, it was a massive amount of critiquing that I do or that I did on myself. I do this sometimes. There's this aspect of me that starts to critique me. And it's an aspect I'm very familiar with, okay? And I don't beat this aspect up, but I pay attention to it. Why is it here? What is it saying? What does it need me to learn, right? Instead of saying I'm wrong, I'm bad, um, being ashamed of it, being guilty, trying to get out of it, right? I don't want to feel this. I should positive think my way into some sort of like I'm an amazing woman type of thing. I let the experience, i.e. the aspect of me that's critiquing me, I let that teach me. What is it here to teach me? I value it. I value every limiting belief. I value every thought, every behavior, every emotion. I value it because I know that's gifting me an opportunity to master this matrix because what's happening in the external world is out of my control but I have to be able to navigate it. And I have to be able to navigate it by not getting caught up in it any longer, by not falling for the fear, the manipulation, the mind control, the coercion, the greed, all of it, right? I have to be able to float through it. And the only way that you and I can do that is that we take everything that we're learning within us and we master it. So this critiquing piece, right? I don't know if you're feeling this. Maybe you're feeling um, judgment, a lot of judgment or comparison, anything, you name it. It's a valuable opportunity. It's a lesson. And for me, what it was teaching me is how can you, Lori, stand firmer in who you are? You don't fully trust yourself yet, Lori. You don't fully believe who you are, Lori. You don't fully trust your voice yet. You don't fully trust your voice. You don't trust your role in this human evolution. So I heard all that. I dived into it. And so what does that mean? It means, can I accept who I am? Can I accept my voice? Can I accept my role in all of this? Even if I don't know what it is, if you don't know what your role is, that's okay. Can you accept that? We all are here for a reason. We all are playing a role. We all are here to assist humanity through this massive evolutionary shift in consciousness. You have a uniqueness about you. Your voice is your voice alone. It's no one else's. Your thoughts and beliefs and behaviors are just yours. And you get to perfect them. You get to sculpt them. You get to create the portrait that you want to create, not based on what anyone else is saying. So when judgment comes in that you have around yourself, when you, if you're critiquing yourself like I was today, if you are judging yourself against other people, if you're if whatever it is that you may be experiencing, peel open that uh, oyster and look at the pearl inside, because all it's doing is redirecting you to become a master of your internal world, because you are here to help humanity get through this crazy and insane, cataclysmic evolution that's happening out there in the human collective. And if you've got all this turmoil going on inside, if you've got all this shadow that you're going to redirect outward, project onto humans, create more divide and anger and resentment and fear and, and divide, or sorry, I said divide, all of that, 
then you're only perpetuating what you came here to do. You're perpetuating that shadow. So look at everything that's coming in right now as a pearl of wisdom. Take it, devour it, right? Don't judge yourself. Don't shame yourself. Don't guilt yourself. Don't try to be like anyone else. Don't try to positive think your way out of the gift that you are giving yourself. That's a disservice. Don't shy away from, don't push away the gift that you are bringing to yourself, which is for me today critiquing that loud voice that loves to critique me. I'm not good enough. Right? So there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like, oh my God, I hope you're okay, Lori. No, this is the human experience. This is what we're here to do. We're here to devour these moments, right? Some people might want to say, I'm so sorry that you experienced that, or you're so amazing, don't worry. That's not the point of this. The point is that we honor everyone's human evolution. We honor how everyone is peeling apart the onion of their own internal beingness. We honor it instead of trying to change it or shift it or jump out of it. So hallelujah to you for whatever you are allowing yourself to see that you don't like. Because it is only here to remind you that it is a pearl in that oyster waiting for you to crack it open so that you can master your internal world, so you can walk out into the external world and shift that entire human collective with your signature, with you, with your beingness, with your heart, with your smile, with your joy, with all of you. I love you.